client asked me recently if he should spend money on some beautiful carbon wheels he was looking at and I politely told him that it's a total waste of money at that stage of his riding on track career you know he was probably getting 40 or 50 percent of the potential of his standard thousand cc bike as it was and the wheels are going to make no difference and I gave him the example of when I first started riding on track I made the mistake of going out and buying the best bike I could you know spend all my money on it and I had no money left over for track time and tires and you know Early on, you don't need the best bike. You just need a good, reliable track bike. Spend your money on track time, developing yourself, you know, getting better and better. You're going to need some instruction every now and again, get yourself up to the next level. The first thing I would spend money on, apart from your bike, is tires. Tires are the, probably the most important accessory you're going to buy. And track specific tires, not road and track or track specific tires some warmers to keep them hot the track specific tires don't work when they're cold but when you've warmed them up and you keep them warm on the track they are fantastic they're another level from road tires which are made to work when they're cold or not as hot so then you're getting faster and faster i would say eventually you're going to fall off it happens you need some body work which is cheap fiberglass body work you can stick it up paint it how you like it get your bike looking how you like also some crash protection for your engine so if you do fall it doesn't leave oil over the track and disappoint everyone else losing track time while they clean it up eventually you're going to get to the point where you're riding faster and faster you're going to need some brakes because the standard brakes are made for the road more the pads at least you might need pads even discs some lines possibly even a pump brake pump which um, is another level from you know the the cheaper ones they put on the standard road bikes uh, then probably it be pipe or suspension the exhaust pipe the accessory ones help the engine breathe better you get better performance but also they're lighter you know so there's two little wins there i would say suspension maybe even come before the exhaust uh, because you're braking harder the forks dive more they're, they're made for going a bit slower on the street you know and soaking up bumps when you're braking hard on the track they dive and then it's harder to stop the back comes off the ground and you're bottoming the front so an upgraded uh, say a fork internal kit or at least springs will give you a bit more support so you can brake harder a rear shock the rear shocks handle that harder acceleration you've got better tires so you've got more grip you're opening that throttle hard the back of the bike sits down and it runs wide you can't hold a line as good so with a shock in there, like they've got more control over the damping, the good, say, Olin's um, track-specific stuff, a harder spring to hold it up, so when you, it doesn't sit down. Also, they're adjustable, so you can raise or lower the ride height and change the geometry of your bike. You can play to suit you, you know, just a little bit here and there to see what you like, which you can't do on the standard stuff. And then you'll get to things like that don't necessarily make you go faster, but they're a lot more pleasant. They make your bike more pleasant to use, like a quick shifter. It's so nice to be able to just hold that throttle open down the straights and click, click, click. It just makes it seamless almost. It's beautiful. Um, maybe a lap timer, a dash, an ATM dash will say uh, what split times you're doing. So you can tell the little changes you're doing on track are helping you know or if they didn't help that you felt faster but you actually went slower telling you the lap each lap so to summarize please don't rush out and blow your whole budget on that beautiful bling bike right in the beginning save some for the track time and developing yourself as a rider then fair enough start spending on the parts you need as your level goes up and up